Hello everyone and welcome to your short introduction to the final scripting project. So you'll notice here that uh, the submission and everything is due midnight on Tuesday, May 11th. So that is during finals week. So we don't have any pre-scheduled final exam for this online class. So the due date for your final project is Tuesday, May 11th at midnight. As you guys remember, there are two different pathways for the final project one to do the instructor provided, the other to do a self-designed. If you did not turn in a project proposal for a self-designed project, you are now locked into the instructor provided project and that should be what you just selected for in the form asking you which of the pathways you are wanting to take. If you decided to do a self-designed project, we have had a meeting and you will now have the opportunity on Monday, April 26th to choose whether or not you want to stay with that self-designed project or if you want to then move over and instead do the instructor provided project. You will need to make that decision on Monday. For the self-designed project, just make sure you read through here on the deliverables that are necessary to be turned in, the one-page write-up that explains your script and what it's meant to accomplish, a list of the data and where that data came from that started your script, your script obviously well commented, a screenshot of your output from Idle, and then an upload of any of the outputs created from your script or if we've talked about creating any type of mapping document from your project, that mapping document as well. As we've mentioned, as I've had meetings, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. A little bit more information about the instructor provided project. You need to download the Word document here that has all of the information that you need for the project. Um, there is a challenge portion to the project. Graduate students doing this pathway must do the challenge portion. Everyone doing this portion of the project needs to download this final project data zipped folder. This has data that everyone will need. There is an individualized portion to this project, so each individual will re be receiving an individualized set of data. That data is going to be attached to the feedback of your project selection choice form. So you need to go back to that quiz and form and, and get to the feedback section and there will be a zipped file in there for each of you who have chosen to do this pathway. There will be an additional zipped file of data just for you. This is data that only you are receiving for this class. So you need to make sure you look at the assignment sheet for the list of deliverables that you must turn in for the instructor provided portion. Some project guidelines for the instructor provided portion. From this point on, you are not allowed to ask questions of the TA. Abby is off the clock. You are allowed and encouraged to ask me questions. However, for the final project, you need to be aware that there may be points taken off depending on how I need to answer your question. Um, so let's say, for example, you send me um, an email saying, I don't understand why all of my print statements are, are not working. And I might look at it and notice that you don't have any parentheses around any of your print statements. So I might respond, well, make sure you go back and review the course material on printing. Um, and if you still come back and say, I still can't get it, I'll say, okay, well, I'm, I can give you the answer so you can move forward, but I'm gonna be taking five points off of your final project. Do you accept that? And if you accept that, then I would give you the answer of, well, make sure that you put the, the parentheses around your print statements and then they will work and you can move forward. Um, if you choose not to do that um, and you choose and you still are frustrated and can't move forward, um, I would just caution you because if you get stuck on something and you are unable to make any more forward progress in the project, you run the risk of turning in a project that is not complete. An incomplete project will always, always lose more points than what you would accumulate if you asked questions along the way. So please, if you are stuck and feel like you cannot make forward progress, ask a question. You'll always, I'll always tell you how much I'll take off. You can always tell me no thank you, but at least you would get the opportunity to get an answer that would help you move forward so that you could turn in a complete project that would always get a better grade than an incomplete project. So you are also allowed to talk with classmates about the project, keeping in mind that you each have individual data packages that you're working with, so each script is gonna be somewhat different by necessity. That said, if you are working together, and I notice that a lot of things are the exact same across these scripts, it's gonna be problematic. These scripts need, just like a paper, need to be your own content. They need to represent your code and your logic throughout the process. But you can work and talk with each other like you have been doing throughout the semester on these assignments. Overall, some helpful hints for anyone doing either pathway. 
just, are just to write down the steps you think your project needs to include. Give yourself a roadmap for what you want to accomplish. We have done this for every significant script we've written this semester. We've written out the basic steps of what we want to accomplish so that we can match our script to accomplish those steps. Start your, strip, your script with comments. Give, if you're scared of the blank page, give yourself some structure with the comments and start off with those, those things that we know that we need, um, those, those basic scripting things that we know we need in, in every script in order for it to work best. Start with those elements to give you something on the page. Break things up into chunks. Don't think that you're gonna write this entire project all in one sitting and all in one script and only run it once. You're gonna write a little bit, run it write a little bit more, run it again. And it's those building into the script that overwrite output, some exists, and also commenting things out that's gonna allow you to do this in chunks. Do not think that you're gonna sit and write it in one sitting and successfully run it um, from that. You're gonna have to get back into new troubleshooting. Everyone does. Um, don't let that surprise you. Don't sit for more than two hours, I recommend, unless you're really in a groove and enjoying it. Don't stop if you're enjoying it, but if you're frustrated or tired, take a break. When it comes to what your brain is seeing on the screen, having a fresh set of eyes and some rejuvenated um, spirit in it is always helpful. So plan in and schedule breaks. Give yourself enough time over the next two weeks to work on this so that you can put in breaks and you can walk away. There is a reason why you're given two full weeks of the semester to work on this project. You need to make sure you're working on it in smaller chunks throughout these two weeks. It will not go well for you if you wait until the last minute. Um, in fact, I will stop asking questions at the very last minute if they are questions related to the start of the script because you should have been working on this for uh, the, over the two weeks. And last, reward yourself. Even for the littlest things, if something is stumping you for a while and you realize that it was a silly keystroke on your part, a misspelling or a, you know, a flipped set of words, um, pat yourself on the back. That's what every human being does who writes programs. We all make those mistakes and being able to see them and find them is huge. So for everything that is either successful without an error or has an error that you then fix, or you finally get one section to work and spit something out that you recognize, celebrate those. Celebrate your successes along the way. You should be very proud of your accomplishments um, as you go forward and write the script here for the final part of the semester. So once you're done, make sure you are refreshing back to your list of deliverables here for the self-design project, the list of deliverables that will be on the documentation here for this instructor provided project. You will upload all of those here to this Canvas location and you will officially be done with your Python programming class for the semester. So best wishes, and I look forward to seeing your final products.